What's going on guys, uh, everyone on YouTube? Uh, my name is Jay. I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade from OSX Yosemite, uh, which a lot of us don't like. Uh, I personally don't like it just because of the whole, the whole aspect, the, the design of it. Uh, I, 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 it, seems a little, it seems a little vague to me, a little boring. Uh, I just like it. I like, sorry, excuse me. I like how uh, OSX Mavericks looks uh, way better than I do, and uh, I don't just the uh, just the functionality of it. I like the old look. Uh, I feel like the new look is just getting a little bit more like just way too simple. Uh, feels like there's less work being put into it. So, uh, and I honestly don't use the features like. Uh, I mean, there were some there were some cool features on there like continuity and. Uh, but I honestly didn't find myself using it that much. I, I really don't make a call on my MacBook. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Obviously, uh, you see that I'm running OS X uh, Mavericks because I already did this process. Uh, so yeah, the first process, the first step in this, uh, it's, it takes about two hours just considering the fact that we're using the internet uh, recovery method. Uh, takes a little while to connect to the Apple servers and everything and have have the software uh, have the OS completely downloaded again but the first step is uh, what you're gonna do you're gonna shut down your computer uh, or you could just restart it and then when it's booting up when you see it before the Apple logo uh, comes up you're gonna press command R and that's gonna take you into disk utility and it, it looks the same like this uh, it actually uh, let me see I just got a snapshot online. So when you open that up, it's going to look like this, actually. Uh, this is what you're going to get. And then you're going to go into Disk Utility. And then once you're in Disk Utility, you'll have this. Uh, you're going to go to where, obviously, your uh, hard drive is. You're going to go to the second one where it says Macintosh HD. And you'll click Erase. And then this this won't be uh, grayed out. This will be, be clickable. So you're gonna erase that. Uh, before you do that, I do recommend uh, I do recommend backing backing up all your files. I personally really didn't need to because uh, uh, I usually just use Microsoft Word and PowerPoint stuff like that. And semester's over, so I don't have to keep any of my old files. But uh, so yeah, that's what you're gonna do. Once you're done with that, you're gonna shut down your computer again and uh, restart it. And then uh, again, when when it's starting up again, when it's booting up, you're gonna press Option Command R. You're gonna hold those three, and then what that's gonna pull up is it's gonna be the Internet Recovery, and that's gonna actually look like this. It's gonna look like this. So you're gonna have to be connected to Wi-Fi. You're gonna need your Wi-Fi network uh, or uh, Ethernet, whatever you have, whatever it may be. Uh, so that's gonna start the Internet Recovery. It'll it'll probably take like five ten minutes. It took mine like five minutes to connect to the Apple server. And then uh, once it did, uh, then I had to, it, it went into the whole internet recovery, booted up again, and then it, it allowed me to, it brought me to this process again, to install. But when I went to that, it, it, uh, it Mavericks was available to install instead of Yosemite because mine is a mid-2012. I bought it about a couple months ago, but when I bought it, it did come pre-installed with uh, OS X Mavericks. So... In order for this to work, you have to have a MacBook that came pre-installed with Mavericks or or earlier or Mountain Lion or Lion whatever whatever it may be. Uh, like if you if you have a MacBook that came with uh, Mountain Lion or Lion, uh, it'll reinstall Lion on there, and uh, you'll be able to update to Mavericks. So that's pretty much how to do that. It's a simple process. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and uh, leave a comment. But yeah, that that's pretty much it. Hopefully this helped, and hopefully you'll you'll get Mavericks just like I did, because I honestly, I just it, it's more, it's better to look at Mavericks than it is Yosemite for me. So, yeah, you guys have a good one.